and the domaka one is also and the domaka one and the domaco domaco <laughs> hi welcome to my nika haul today i'm going to be showing you some of the products that i bought during the hot pink sale and after that so let's just see what they are so i have these three boxes of skincare makeup and in one box i've separated the lipstick so let's just start with the skin first product that i wanted to show it to you are these two sunscreens one is from aclogica glow plus dewy sunscreen the other one is uh, dermaco one percent hyaluronic acid sunscreen aqua gel both are of gel consistency and they don't give white cast they are actually very good let me show the consistency so this is how the aqualogica one looks like it is so like watery and when you blend it you actually cannot see any white cast so that's how it looks and the dermaco one also has a similar consistency it's like watery and uh, white and when you blend it there is actually no white cast or anything both of them give a very nice glow look at that so i love both of these sunscreens but the one problem that i faced is with the aqualogical glow plus sunscreen i actually find it when it is little close to my eyeballs i kind of find some irritation i don't know why but i don't have a problem with the dermaco one but this one kind of stings if it is too close to the eyeballs other than that i don't have a problem the next product that i have is a sebamed cleansing foam i think this is my fourth bottle i don't know how many bottle i have used about the smaller one this time there is a bigger one as well this is actually a foaming cleanser and it has got uh, salicylic acid this is a very good cleanser if you have oily skin and blackheads i really really love this cleanser whenever i use this cleanser i feel like my face is like brightened up and i don't see any extra oil on my face so i keep buying this cleansing foam this one costs around 322 rupees and i got this for 200 rupees on sale next up we have dermaco salicylic acid face mask this one is also very good i've actually used this this is this is a clay mask and it is kind of like black in color when you open it this is one of those feel good mask when you use it you actually feel like all of the impurities are gone from your face and that's exactly how you would be feeling and while washing this is very difficult to remove because i just don't know maybe because of the clay consistency but uh, this mask is very good if you have acne and they give you a small spoon where you can scoop out the product and apply it on your face i use this to scoop out the product and i keep it in the back of my hand and i apply using my hands the actual price of this product is 499 rupees and i think i got it for 300 rupees this is a very good mask and i would highly recommend this next we have some luxury products the first one is from the ordinary it's their 30% AHA and 2% BHA peeling solution. This is how it is. It actually is red in color. If I open it up. This is how it looks. When you apply this peel, actually your skin kind of tingles. It actually stings a bit. And it is very, very, very thick. It actually stings a lot when you apply this and that is the only problem that I faced. I've actually used this before and whenever I use this the next day my skin actually glows a lot and I really really like this peeling solution but the only problem is the AHA in it is 30% that is like too much. Maybe if you are a beginner start with a 5% or 10% and then you can slowly move up to this. I have been using 18% AHA before using this. So this kind of suits my skin. But if you are a beginner, don't ever try this. I wouldn't recommend this to anybody because it actually burns a lot when you apply. Slightest tingle is okay. But whenever I apply this, I just feel like some kind of burning sensation on my skin. It's not like I cannot bear it at all. It's bearable. But still, I, I just don't know. It just 
tingles and stings a lot so that's the only reason why i wouldn't recommend but apart from that this is a very good peeling solution it actually cleans your skin very very well and i have seen reduction in acne marks after using this peeling solutions next up we have keels midnight recovery concentrate this is actually my second bottle and it looks like this very classic beautiful packaging and when you open it's a very clear oil consistency the dropper works from the top and you can just put this product on this changed my skin for good i really really love this product and this is my second bottle as i said and this one is for 15 ml this is going to last you for at least 4 months for me it lasts for 6 months because you only need a tiny bit but this has kind of an oil consistency to be very honest this is an elixir of pure essential oils so this has a little bit of oily consistency if you don't like oily consistency on your face maybe you can skip this otherwise this is a very 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 good product I didn't get this on sale there was no discount on this particular product but with this i got something extra i think it's a ultra facial cream or something that also i like a lot so this one i would highly highly recommend if you are facing skin issues and if oil is not your problem we are done with skin care let's go to makeup products the first one i'm really excited is this kiro eye shadow stick and uh, this is in the shade uh, shade 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 let me open this and see if there is a shade inside something that's sandy cooper yes the shade name is sandy cooper 02 i actually have this in the shade 01 that is kind of a gold one but uh, i was really intrigued to try this let me put this here this has like a dark brown color and it is it suits dusky skin very very well this is a very good eye shadow and it will stay for a very long time now that i've applied it let's just give it a minute or so and try to smudge this this one is for 1050 and i got it for 900 this is a very good deal and this eye shadow stick is very very good it is waterproof smudge proof you need a very heavy duty makeup remover to remove this so this is a very good product and i would highly recommend this if you are looking to buy an eye shadow please please go check this out this is like so so good now that i think we have a minute or so let's try to smudge this it's actually not going anywhere see only slightest it has smudged but the you know the color is still there and it will take a heavy duty makeup remover to remove this next up we have mac strobe cream mini i never really tried mac strobe cream this is my first time this one i got as free for a lipstick that i got from mac this is not something that i purchased and it is not coming out So this is like six uh, ml of Mac strobe cream. I don't know the shade name and all. I never really used this. So let's open it. This is the first time I'm opening and seeing Mac strobe cream. Actually, I've taken a lot. <laughs> let's just blend this. I don't see any chunky glitter as such. It kind of settled down like a moisturizer. at this point i'm not really sure because it's not giving me anything so i don't know let me just put this under makeup some day and try it and show you guys next i got makeup revolution tammy x topical carnival shadow palette so this is how the palette looks like and the palette is for uh, how much 1950 and i got it for 973 rupees I haven't opened this at all. So this is the outer box. Oh, look at the packaging. I thought it's only outer cover, but the inner packaging is also so good. It had like a very beautiful color, so that's why I chose this. Look at that colors. 
they are like water colors they are so so beautiful i was so excited for this yellow and all the other colors are also so beautiful and uh, i think there are some five to six glitters and all the others are matte let's just swatch the glitter shades that's how it looks it is so pretty actually i love this let me swatch one of the matte shades that is the yellow shade let's just see how it looks it is so pigmented i think i love this i never really used this palette i am yet to use maybe i'll use it and let you know but right now i really love this palette Next up we have Mars Fabio Lash Mascara. This one was recommended by one of my friends. She said that it lengthens and curled her lashes so beautifully and that's why I got this. The packaging is pretty basic. There is nothing, you know, too much about the packaging. The only thing is there is a hold. There is a grip on the cap. Like when you open it, the wand is like so chubby. This is how the wand looks like and there is the slightest of curl to the wand and the bristles are very very short i've actually applied the mascara on my eyes i don't know if you can see but this is a good mascara i wouldn't say the best but this is a very decent mascara and how much is this i think it was for 199 or so and i got this for the same price this was not on sale but since my friend recommended i really wanted to try it out and see how this looks this is a good product. It gives you, it's written as curls, drama, thick and length. To some extent, it is actually good. This is a four in one Fabulash mascara. Yeah, this is a decent product. I actually like this. So we will go to the exciting part. That is the lipstick. I've got all the lipsticks in this box. And I think I have around four to five lipsticks. I am going to start with my most favorite. This is MAC Whirl Lipstick. I remember when MAC launched in Nykaa, I bought this lipstick. This is the only one I bought. And I've been constantly using this lipstick because this suits my skin tone very, very well. And I've never put down that lipstick until it got completely over. And I got a bigger size at that time. This time I wanted to try. This time I bought a smaller size because I don't think I'll finish the entire lipstick. So we are going to try this. This is how the mini packaging looks like and the color is kind of like this muted pink color. Now you know why I like this color. This is kind of like my lips but better. But it kind of washes me out. But what I will do is I'll apply a brown lip liner around my lips. And when I blend this, it actually looks very, very good. And that is the same reason why I used to love this lipstick so, so much. This is MAC World. Next up, we have Rene Fab Bullet Lipstick in the shade Mocha Munch and the shade number is L23. I think this is one of those five stackable lipstick and yeah, actually it is. As you can see, there is something missing over here. I think this is a stackable bullet lipstick and they started selling this in small pieces as well, like separately as well. That's what you can see. Let's go ahead and apply this. The shade looks like this. It's like a muted brown, I guess. It actually is a very pretty color. Little brighter than MAC Whirl, I guess, but this is so, so pretty. And you have to be very careful while closing this because you can see this is kind of, uh, you know, embossed. Like if you don't close it properly, some of the lip lipstick might come off. Like I've already done it to my lipstick. So that's that. Other than that, this is a very, very, very pretty shade. And I would recommend this for dusky curls. This is a good shade. And I don't think it lasts for a very long time because it's just very creamy. 
and very very comfortable i like this lipstick this is my favorite next up we have blue heaven powder matte lipstick this is how the packaging looks like and i have it in the shade rosy lips pm01 this is kind of a mauvey pink shade the shade looked very very good on the website and that's why i got this let's open it up and see this is how the packaging looks like i think this is a copy of some packaging i really don't know but the packaging actually looks very very cute let's apply this is how the color looks i am really scared to take out more products because i don't know whether it will go back but it is kind of a pink let's apply This shade is actually very good. I like this shade and the texture is creamy but when you apply I actually feel very difficult to apply because the product is not settling very easily on the lips as compared to the previous one. Previous lipsticks were very very good. They were smooth. They were just gliding on smoothly. This one is very difficult to apply. That's one thing you have to remember from that. I don't have any problem with this lipstick. And I don't think this lipstick is going to last a very long time. Yeah, this is a good one. For the color, I would highly recommend. This is Blue Heaven Powder Matte Lipstick in the shade Rosy Lips. Next up, we have Beauty People Lipstick and the shade Rustic Mauve. This is the lips. The packaging is so luxurious. And when you open, oh my god, okay. Yeah, it looks actually good. This is how the actual lipstick looks like. The shade is pretty good. Let's apply. The shade looks good. The lipstick is gliding on smoothly. This brand was recommended by one of my friends. That's why I wanted to try. And uh, the lipstick is for $199 and I got it for some $150 or so. This is a very good lipstick. I don't have any complaints. Next up, we have my favorite lipstick. This is from Nykaa. This is from their uh, So Matte Mini Lipstick and the shade I have is 26M. 26M is Bon Bon. Bon Bon 26M. This also used to be one of my favorite shades. You know, this is a muted brown color. This is a very good lipstick. I love this lipstick. This is, I think, darkest of all of the lipsticks. But if you are of darker skin tone like me, this is going to suit you very, very well. This can be your everyday shade and I actually like this. The one good thing about this lipstick is that it is going to last you for a very, very, very long time. I think I tested this lipstick out. I applied it in the morning till night. It didn't budge. Or it didn't, nothing happened to this lipstick. It was just right there. And after some time, it started fading slowly. So this is a very good lipstick and I would highly recommend this one. So that's all I have for today. This is my Nykaa haul. So if you like this video, please hit like button and also subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.